update on the car if you watch to the end of this video i'll go ahead and give y'all a small small update man what's good everybody main life with deep life back out another video play ball y'all see i'm driving um i usually don't open up vlogs while i'm driving but today a little different man i got my under armor on i'm finna go hit the gym it's been uh it's been a long long ass time since i've been in the gym man i actually just motivated myself i looked in a mirror one day a few days ago i was like damn d black what the hell going on <laughs> but um nah man it ain't it ain't out of hand but it's damn near about to get out of hand so um yeah i'm about to go tap back in the gym uh like an estimate of how long i haven't been in the gym i know last time i was in the gym like consistently was 2018 and it's 2021 so y'all do the math that's about three years it's been a long time so and actually 2017 it's been four years so yeah i was consistent about three years after i got out of high school and then it's like i got i i wasn't motivated anymore man um marriage um eating more eating out more and i just pretty much got unmotivated man i just really started going to work and uh hustling more at work and just grinding it out at work instead of like working and just being on top of my priorities man i just basically gave up working out and i just put it to the side but as y'all see i'm back with you okay i'm about to get some uh a little breakfast, man. I can't work out on an empty stomach. I just can't do it. good minutes and the whole time I was in there man I was other than me setting my camera up I was grinding on the machines um, treadmill um, dead squats but I didn't bench um, I did free weights and it mostly was it was mostly leg day man I could feel it. I could feel it. I know y'all could see it in my face that I'm tired as hell. Um, I could feel my legs, man. It's, it's going to be interesting in the morning. I could feel it now, but it's going to be interesting in the morning. Um, I like coming in the mornings, man. As I walked out, a lot of people started going in. So uh, you definitely have way more, uh, you know, time to do stuff you have more uh machines to work on and yeah man it's just you you're not having to wait on machines when you do go in when you go early in the morning the three things the three clips that y'all seen in the video uh treadmill free weights and the deadlift squats um that was about that was about all i did um i really didn't work on arms today that much other than what y'all seen um, today was literally leg day. The treadmill killed my ass, man. I'm talking about one lap. One lap, like, you know, 25 on a treadmill is considered one lap on an actual Olympic track or track, like track and field. So that's like a quarter of a mile. So that ate my ass up. And I don't know if it's because I had uh, 
I caught COVID back in November or what. Um, I definitely could feel more fatigue. And I, I haven't worked out in four years. So, I mean, they both play a big factor in why I'm uh, very tired now in a short amount of time, 45 minutes. Like I said, I was going all out when I was in there. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm out of shape. I will say I'm out of shape. It's been four years. It usually takes me about a week to get in shape. Um, I know this weakness in my legs and soreness is going to be here at least two to three days. So today's Saturday. Um, so maybe Monday it'll it'll start dying off. So I don't know the next time I'll hit the gym. I try to I try to once I hit my first day, I try to wait like till my soreness starts going down. I don't wait for it to go completely away, but I let it go down a little bit to where I could get back in there on the treadmill again and do uh, free free weights as far as the squats. Um, next time I come back, I'm gonna be lifting. It'll be you know upper body. And uh, yeah, damn, damn, damn. <coughs> y'all comment down below, man, if y'all caught COVID and uh, had trouble working out at the gym or at least felt very fatigued in a short amount of time, man, I, I'm going to have to ask around, man, because I definitely feel way tired, way more tired than back when I was younger. I am 26, so when I was getting it, I was, you know, 21, 22. So, that, it, it definitely plays a role, man. I'm just thinking back, like, damn, how was I getting it? But, um, yeah, man, I caught COVID, and I think COVID definitely has a big part of why I'm so, so tired with, with working out. Um, it probably did attack my, my uh, respiratory system. Uh, I won't quite say my lungs, but I definitely was tired on that treadmill, man. Uh, and I know it sounds like I'm complaining, but, shit, that's what happened when you, uh, Think you could leave the gym for four years and come back like nothing nothing happened shit <laughs> but uh yeah man thank y'all for tuning in with this video man coming with me to the gym today update on the car if you watch till the end of this video i'll go ahead and give y'all a small small update man a lot of y'all not gonna want to hear this but uh i gotta get the transmission rebuilt That's basically what's what's happening now, man. Actually, today's Saturday, Tuesday. My parts for the transmission, the kit for the transmission, will be in to get rebuilt Tuesday. Um, so, clutch was already in, but uh, he said transmission uh, bearings are, are out. He also said my uh, <clears throat> he asked me basically who who installed my K24, and I told him who did it. He was like, man, uh, I believe they forgot to um, put your your transmission bolt back on. And I was like, what you mean? And he was like, you've been riding with, uh, you've been riding dry. That's basically what he said. And I said, I've been riding dry as in no, no transmission fluid. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, you f***ing kidding me, bro. He said, um. He don't know if maybe Buddy, when he swapped it, if he put it on and it came off or if he just didn't put it on in general. But um, when I was driving it and pushing it pedal to the metal, as y'all seen in the previous videos, um, it never once gave me any problems. One time when I did go all out and I parked it in the garage, a little smoke was coming up, but I thought that's because I had just got it swapped and it was the, the uh, new K24. I never once thought, you know, my transmission was run, running dry. Um, so, yeah, man, I'm, I'm in that situation right now. Uh, so, yeah, getting my clutch and transmission rebuilt. Um, I'm not pointing fingers at nobody, man, because it also, I mean, is it his fault? I'm not sure because I didn't check my damn self. So, he, he probably didn't put it on. He probably did put it on, but I by me not checking i can't really say it was him but uh what i can say is it's my fault for uh you know not checking myself so you know live and learn man like i say in all my videos you live you learn you grow and uh i got my car at an actual shop man speed works um and 
I got a good cold guy on my cart now, Ricky. And, um, yeah, man, he's just breaking everything down for me. He's giving me way better prices than uh, Concept Racing. And um, he actually s s used to work with Concept Racing. So I think I'm in a win-win situation with this. And, uh, yeah, man, so another delay on my RSX is getting rebuilt transmission and, you know, the stage two clutch. I was talking to my buddy who uh, I work with actually at work, Kyle. He was saying when I get my car back that it's going to be, he said I'm going to stall it a lot of times because the stage stage two clutch is like a racing clutch. And he said it's very like when you hit it, when you hit the clutch, it like springs back hard. So he said I'm going to stall a lot. So y'all be, uh, y'all be waiting and ready for these videos that's about to come out they're gonna be funny as hell i'm sure but um yeah man that's what's going on right now with the rsx transmission's getting rebuilt uh clutch is getting put in flywheel new flywheel um rear main seal all of that man it's about to be basically a new car because you know the k24 already has like when I bought it, it was like between 50 and 60,000 miles. So that's a brand new ass engine to me. And then a rebuilt trans is like basically new. I mean, it's the same trans, but it's new uh, components around the trans to make it run as new and stronger. So uh, yeah, man, long, long uh, process. But when I get car back, it's definitely gonna be able to be pushed to the limit again, for real, for real this time with transmission fluid. <laughs> But, um, yeah, man, thank y'all for tuning in with this video. Y'all got any questions, man, comment them down below. Y'all got any personal questions on how much I paid for certain things, DM me on my Instagram. I won't comment my prices or where I got certain. Well, that's definitely about the paint job. I'll tell y'all, um, you know, where I got the paint job. I already told y'all it was 500 but no, I'm getting off topic, man. Comment down anything y'all want to wa uh, watch in the future. Um, I did tell somebody in the comment section that I was going to do a video on how much my K24 swap was. Um, I will, that will be a video coming up in the future. Um, like I say, I don't plan these videos. They just come as they are. So uh, if y'all tuning in and subscribe to each video, you will see the title and thumbnail when I do drop that video on how much my K24 swapped. And um, that's how much I paid for. You can probably get it at a cheaper price, cheaper rate. Um, but that's how much I'll be paying for it. Other than that, man, y'all stay tuned for the next video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Subscriber count's going up. I appreciate everybody who's tuning in. I am tired as hell. And, um, yeah, I'm about to go back home, soak in some salt and relax. And, uh, yeah, kick back, man. Wait for my car to get done. Other than that, man, thanks for tuning in with Life with Deep Black. Until next video. Play ball.